Hello, welcome everyone. So in this video I want to talk about how to pack for a safari. Very recently I've been to Central Africa and I stayed in a mobile camp between Masai Mara and Serengeti and I followed the Great Migration. And I was really confused on what to pack, what not to pack, it's a mobile camp. And on the other side, um, you also want to look nice and elegant because you don't get to go to safari many times in your life. Duh. So you need good pictures. So I was really confused and I received a lot of information. And I searched on YouTube and I really didn't find a lot of videos that helped me. So I decided to make one for you and hope it will be helpful. And make sure that you watch until the end of this video um, because I will put some of my photos and you get to see how was my vacation. So without further ado, um, let's get started. Okay, let's start with the clothing. So in terms of clothing, you need to select very natural colors like hockeys. So avoid the bright colors and also avoid like blue or black. Um, they say also avoid the white because it's very difficult to keep a white thing white there. So um, as you wake up very early for the game drives and also in, during the night, it gets very chilly. So my biggest advice is don't forget a jacket. So um, I also brought the a scarf that I really, really used, you'll see in my uh, photos. The other thing is the pants. Um, I took these ones that can turn into shorts um, if you get hot or choose some pants that you can roll up um, if you get, uh, again, hot. So these were kind of the two pants that I, I took with me um, in those kind of natural colors. And uh, in terms of the t-shirts, here you see my Hakuna Matata t-shirt and I also selected a couple from Craig Hoppers and these have like anti-mosquito um, elements to it, so they are long sleeves and in addition I, I took a couple of kind of t-shirts, um, again in natural colors. And in terms of um, my shoes, I really like these shoes, they are... Um, they're outdoor shoes, although I didn't walk a lot, but um, those shoes were very, very comfortable. And don't forget your sunglasses, of course. And in terms of hats, I bought these hats. <laughs> it's a um, tiny hat. It's, it was really an expensive purchase, but the funny thing about this hat is it's insured of its lifetime. So if you spill something on it or if you lose it. Um, in terms of the luggage, um, unfortunately in a safari trip you are restricted to 12 kilos and uh, you are not allowed to carry like hard bags so you need to have like soft bags without wheels. Um, so don't forget this because in, in the planes that you're gonna take, I mean, they, they may really reject your luggage. So this one was the one that I had. Um, I, I know that maybe red is not the ideal color for safari, but in terms of the size, it was really, really good. I, I was able to fit everything that I needed uh, for my one week trip in this bag. In terms of skincare, I'm really, really happy that I brought a ton of moisturizers and not one but two lip balms because the dry air in Africa really upset my skin. And in terms of the makeup, I really didn't need a lot of things. Uh, for example, I didn't bring any full coverage makeup. Um, I was really, really happy with my Chanel BB cream. I also brought a Bobbi Brown eye palette in natural colors, really served me well. I also brought... Um, uh, from Too Faced, my eye primer, which was really helpful. Um, basically, these are the old makeup that I, I took with myself and I really didn't need a lot. So let's talk about the other things that you would need. So do not forget your hand sanitizer, your wet wipes. <laughs> Trust me, you will need a lot of wet wipes. And do not forget to pack any medicines or travel aid kits that you might need. And uh, also probably you will see your GP and you need Maleron tablets, um, anti-mosquito sprays, sunscreens. And I also packed vitamin C for the early wake-ups. Okay, now let's talk how we will pack all these things into our soft bag. So I really find these cubes extremely helpful. Um, these are medium size cubes and I bought them from Kathmandu, but I think you can find it anywhere. Um, so you, these are helpful because you can pack your socks, your underwear, your PJs. And as the soft bags do not come with kind of different compartments, these are extremely helpful. 
and uh, you can also use them to separate your dirty laundry um, versus your clean so I, I brought two of them and they were really really helpful to me in my in my travel um, the other things that I really find helpful are these plastic small bags I bought them I think I bought them from TK Maxx they come in different sizes and uh, they're very good because um, if you carry your liquids, I mean, they really help that they your liquids don't get spilled in all your clothes. And I use them to carry my passport, and my pills that I use every day. And uh, they're also handy to kind of um, collect your um, power banks or some cables, etc. By the way, those power banks are really, really helpful. I strongly advise that you carry one um, for your trip to Africa. So these are very helpful in addition to your normal um, wash bag. So let's talk about the photo and video. Um, in these equipment, um, I have only two things to say. I mean, make sure that you really invest on a good binoculars. You definitely need one, um, trust me, and please buy one that is bright with good quality um, and at least with 10x zoom. And also you would need a, a good zoom lens, um, again at minimum like 300 millimeters is recommended. So that's it for this video and thanks a lot for watching and uh, for every item that I described in this video I will put the list in the description box below and if you have any tips that you want to share please uh, note down in the comments and if you have any questions uh, please ask I'm more than happy to help. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. And I wanted to say bye uh, with my lovely pictures from my safari. And uh, I really hope to see you in my next videos. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Bye.